The Ghost of Charnel House is a pretty interesting look at how the past can affect the present. And it is quite a different ghost story because, for two reasons, the past isn't that far away. This was set, um, well, it's set present day, and I believe it was the 80s when the ghost aspect of it happened, when the ghost was alive. But usually films like this, the child will actually be a lot older than that. They will date back to maybe the 50s or the 40s or even earlier. So I thought that was an interesting decision that actually worked quite well insofar as saying that the past that can haunt us is not necessarily that far away or that far behind us. And I like the stark contrast between the old building and then the modern renovations. I think it gave the past and the present another strong contrast. It's not that scary, but it is interesting. It was released in 2016, directed by Craig Moss, written by Chad Israel and Emmanuel Eiler. And it's about this young boy who is not very ghostly to be honest he's got quite an eerie presence about him and i think he's absolutely fantastic uh, he's played by alden tab and this young boy called rupert and i won't say what happened to him or why he became a child ghost because i don't want to ruin that aspect of it but i don't think he's particularly eerie or, or creepy but there is something about him and the way he interacts with mia the young girl in this played by mackenzie moss um that aspect of it is quite sinister and I found that to be interesting because she's basically the only other child in this. And I will say, had she not been in this, it would not have been as interesting. Her emotions really come out, especially as the film kind of progresses towards the final act. Um, I find that her role in this is really important. It's really moving. If she hadn't been in this and it had just been a young child ghost interacting with the adult characters or, you know, being a presence around the adult characters, it would not have been as interesting. But I do find the history of the house interesting and what it used to be and why it's become quite a a scary place and how the, the past can affect you. It's not a scary film, as I said. Um, sometimes it'll have suspenseful music or sound effects. It doesn't overly rely on jump scares, which is something that I applaud because a lot of ghost films do and they have steered away from that. It is a lot more psychological. It's not, I wouldn't call it a psychological horror. But I do think that the elements that make you think maybe put a shiver down your spine. It definitely is more thought-provoking than it is scary, but sometimes the thoughts that it can provoke are maybe a little bit scary in themselves and thinking not necessarily what ghosts are around us, but what used to happen. I won't say what happened in this house before they modernised it and renovated it into a, a modern complex, but it makes you think, well, what is the history of my home? What used to go on in this house before I lived here? Could anything terrible have happened in the building where you are now currently sitting? In the room where you are currently sitting? And I think that aspect of it is something that's really interesting because we're all on this linear timeline. As humanity, we're on a linear timeline. And it's inevitable that at certain points in the past, bad things would have happened. And it really makes you think about that. And that aspect is eerie, but I don't think it's scary. I don't think it's that creepy. I think it's occasionally surprising in a way that may make you not necessarily gasp, but make you curious about what's around the corner, what's going to happen next. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think this would have worked better if it had been pitched as a drama um, or maybe even a bit of a suspenseful thriller where the characters had become, where the characters began to change who they were because of the way the past, this history is property, the fabrications of this building affected their mind mentally and it changed the way they psychologically processed things and suddenly they realised how dark the past was and how dark reality is and now they're embroiled in that by living in this very building or in the very site of this house and that could cause their mind to interact with their environment slightly differently. It could have been a very thought-provoking psychological thriller in that way but unfortunately they've gone down the ghost story route and I don't think it was as effective so I found it interesting I thought the actors particularly the child actors were very good it was a little bit suspenseful but it wasn't scary I don't think it's a terrible film I kind of enjoyed watching it it wasn't the horror that I hoped it would be but I didn't think it was terrible if you like Films where the past makes itself known in the present, 
and particularly when it's revolving around one building or location and that is the central focal point, you might enjoy it. It's quite interesting. It will make you think. It could have been better if, for example, like I said, it affected the characters psychologically as they began to evaluate the past and how it interacted with their present and how there is darkness and horrible events absolutely everywhere um, and we can't escape it. Could have been a bit better. But that aside, The Ghost of Charnel House is not a terrible film. It may be worth a watch.